Hello everyone, this is Jeff Trapani, Nature Hacker, and each week we're bringing you solutions to help nourish your mind, body, and soil. Do you guys know that food waste is the single largest source of waste in this country? 40% of all food that's produced never makes it to your table. Now landfills, they're not designed for breaking down food scraps, but this system is. This is the Home Biogas 2.0, this backyard system uses the power of microbes to convert yard waste and food scraps into a green renewable energy for home cooking. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how this system works and then we're going to use it to cook up and stir fry some veggies from the garden. Let's check it out. All right, so let's see what's on the menu for today. First off, we have some apple cores and then the remaining ingredients our products from the garden. So my banana trees, we have banana peels left over from that. Then we have Nopales cactus. It grows so well here at the house that I can hardly keep up. It's a great food source, but I also use it for energy for the biogas system. And then we got water hyacinth. This plant is considered an invasive species. It doubles its size in a few weeks. So it's an amazing source for biogas because we can make so much of it. All right, so now we're gonna take all these ingredients, mix them up, and feed it to the biogas system. Now the system's on, and it's time to grind up some food. So the way you feed this system is you just pull this up, and put it here, and then you just add the biogas slurry. Whatever amount is fed to the system, the same amount is going to come out in the form of a liquid fertilizer, which we call digestate. This can be diluted and spread throughout the garden to create high productive plants. So this bottom compartment has food scraps and water, but it also has anaerobic bacteria that are breaking down the food scraps and converting it into methane gas, where it's being pressurized by sandbags in this top chamber. So when I turn on the gas line in the back, it's gonna send the gas into the house where it's connected to a gas burner. So let's go in the kitchen and check it out. Just before coming in the kitchen, I was out in my garden harvesting some fresh veggies for our stir fry. It's not easy growing food in Florida summers, but I found some veggies that love growing in this heat. First off, we got some Asian eggplant. We got a whole bunch of peppers here. I just love adding color to my meals. Got some herbs, Cuban oregano, rosemary, parsley, and a little serrano over here for some kick. And then to finish it off, we have some Chinese water spinach. It's gonna be great in this stir fry. All right, so there you have it. We're ready to cook. So light it up. Check out that beautiful blue flame. All right, so let's start the stir fry. Oh, look at that beautiful color. It smells so good. So there you have it, delicious stir fry. Cooked with home biogas. Can't wait to taste it. Now we're just gonna add these veggies to some locally grown eggs I cooked up earlier with the gas stove. And now we're ready to eat. Well, there you have it. A delicious stir fry meal made with home biogas. Homegrown food, homegrown fuel. You can't get better than that. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe and share with all your friends. Take care and I'll see you in the next one.